changing out this toilet and putting in a bidet. Um, the toilet developed a leak in the flapper and it's, it's, it's 10 years old. It's a cheap builder's model that probably cost them 100 bucks to put in 10 years ago. So it's not worth putting any effort in to repair it. So I picked up a Casco toilet that I've used in another bathroom. I've had good luck with it. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is provide power for the uh, bidet. So I tapped into this wall switch. Um, and uh, you're running some conduit or uh, Romex. Push it through the back here and come out over here into this switch and mount a GFI outlet. So it's simple to cut this with a hole saw. And I'm using an old work box that has these wings on it that may make it a snap to mount it into the wall without having to bolt it onto a stud or something like that. So I'll go ahead and get that put in place. Got the toilet pretty well stripped down, taking the two fastening nuts off, and we use a plunger to uh, clear most of the water out. Sometimes you may need a pry bar, especially if it's caught in. But it doesn't look like it needs much. And that's all there's to it. Let's get it cleaned up and put in the new seal. I've used a paint scraper to clean off the uh, toilet mounting ring so it's ready to accept the wax seal and clean up the surrounding area and we'll get ready to uh, put the new toilet in place okay that's the bottom of the new toilet and this is a wax ring that came with that toilet so we'll just put it in place
and not the lightest toilet in the world. Okay, the bolts are centered on the toilet on each side and I'll rock the toilet back and forth a bit to settle it out and let it compress the wax ring and then put the uh, nuts back on the bolts on each side to mount the toilet in place. Okay, when you use a wrench to tighten up these nuts, um, go from side to side, rock the toilet to settle it, and don't use a lot of force on these. It doesn't take much. That's all. You see the toilet is well secured. It isn't going to go anywhere. Um, if you like, you can clock underneath there, especially if you have uneven tile, it may help, but this seems fairly well in place. So we'll go ahead and start installing the bidet. Okay, by the way, this is a Casco toilet. It's available, I think I paid about 150 for it at the local warehouse. I've installed one of these before in the house and they, it's worked very well. So on the bidet, what you do need is split off the uh, water supply. The, the bidet thing, uh, supplies a T that goes to the uh, water connector down here. These things don't need much more than a hand tight fit. Take off to the bidet. And then it connects to the bottom of the toilet, which is a little awkward on this one. But I'm going to get it in place. Okay, the mounts for the uh, bidet, they install these rubber plugs in here. And this goes here.
Okay, I'll get those snug down. Uh, the water line in this toilet is uh, quite awkward to install. It's hidden behind and underneath here. Uh, so if there's any way you could install the water line before putting the toilet in place, it would make it things a lot easier. Um, so, but the water lines are basically set up. Uh, comes out of the floor valve, and then the T back here, one that feeds the toilet, one that feeds this, and this will feed the uh, bidet. So. assembly slides down that plate and just uh, fits on there. It's just a simple setup. it in. So the next step is to hook up the water and uh, hook up the power, uh, fill the toilet with water and check for leaks. So that appears to be uh, functioning as it should. Um, I'm afraid we can't show you the uh, bidet in action. That would be a bit embarrassing for me. But we'll assume it works okay. And this is a, uh, a uh, bio bidet that uh, I got on Amazon. It's in the uh, 200 to 300 dollar range. Um, so it seems to be a high quality product. At least the fittings and everything that I could see were all first rate stuff. So that's about it on how to install a new toilet and a bidet.